Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the video. Uh, this is your boy Manny at DMV Constrictors, and I uh, just put together a video for you guys as an introductory to uh, my page, my channel, um, my hobby, <clears throat> and my animals. Um, so I'm gonna try not to keep you too long. I just give you just a little bit of information about myself. I am an animal lover. Um, I've always kept reptiles since I was a kid, um, throughout my teenage years and my adult years. Just recently got into the boa constrictors about a year ago. So I have about a year under my belt um, with raising and keeping these boas. And I figured I'll go ahead and document a little bit uh, of content as I go further on this journey and uh, with this hobby. Um, eventually I do want to breed out some of the um, genetics that I have in my collection. I still have about a year or so, a little less than a year because I have an adult female and I have actually my first boa that I picked up. This is a Motley Possible Jungle. Um, and I picked her up from Osmond Reptiles right here in Gaithersburg and local to the DMV area. Uh, Mike is a real good guy, um, has very, very beautiful animals. But at the time I picked up this snake, I was actually into ball pythons and um, I had about 20 in my collection and it was just basically doing the same thing eventually getting into um, breeding them later on and um, seeing what type of morphs I can come up with and create you know different um, different genetics um, but when I saw this motley it was just it was breathtaking to me because I never seen a, um, a, a ball constricted dark in contrast so I would, you know, pull her out, but one, she just ate yesterday, so I don't want to disturb her. Um, and I just thought that this was something interesting. This was something interesting to show you guys. If you didn't know that uh, ball ball constrictors like to bear um, like to bury themselves under the substrate in the woods. I'm sorry, in the woods, but in their natural habitat, they would do this under um, a litter of leaves. And this is an ambush tactic to um, get on their prey when they approach. So I thought this was kind of neat to show you guys, but um, she is a um, 2017 animal, and hopefully um, next year I can get her up to size and she's mature enough to breed so I can work on some um, eclipse projects and some leopard projects. Um, but that's, you know, later information, um, later video, later content to come. Definitely didn't want to hold you guys too much longer, but boas um are very very fun to have um they're a joy to handle and i just love them as into breeding them out get into this um community of reptile breeding i have successfully bred dogs i'm currently breeding dogs now old english bulldogs and i have bred fish um in the past freshwater fish uh to be specific the parachromis dovi which is a very, very aggressive um, cichlid, freshwater. So I've bred a pair of those um, a couple of times and I've bred my dogs. I have three successful litters and one litter pass, my very first litter pass. So you can pretty much see I'm an animal person, I'm an animal lover, and this should be fun. So I appreciate you guys for hanging in with me on this video. Thank you for watching. Um, more information, more content to come. I'm just going to have fun with it, guys, but stay tuned. You guys be cool. Peace.